All right, good folks. We are uh, writing a sources of lens paragraph. And anything I write, you write. So if I type it, you type it. Since it's a film title, I italicized the title. All right. These paragraphs. Uh, the well for this essay let's already let's assume that we've already written the introduction and a quick summary of the film so the reader knows what we're going to argue which character we're going to track the reader knows what the film's about So now we're going to write a body paragraph, right? And in the body paragraph, I'll give you a second to catch up. Just anything I type, you type. In the body paragraph, you're going to need to follow the ACE format. But I think it's best to call it like modified ACE. It's not exactly what we've written, but it's close, right? And here... You just have to, yeah, yeah. So just write, yeah, you're doing it. Just write the most important stuff. You don't have to write all, everything I type. Um, so what do you, in the assert portion, you summarize the specific scene. In the site, you... Provide a Milgram or Fromm quotation to – yeah, I'll leave it there. And in the explain, you use the Milgram or Fromm quotation to explain, <clears throat> or you can think of it as um, clarify, illuminate, unpack what happens in the scene. This list of four words that I gave you, they're all a synonym for the word analyze. When you unpack, you analyze. When you illuminate, you analyze. When you clarify, you analyze. So this is what we need to do. Now, when I, I'm, I'm going to type my summary of the scene, and I'm going to do it fairly quickly. Actually, in fact, I'm going to try to write this paragraph in like 15 minutes or less. I recommend you do the same when you write your research, when you write your, your major papers. The first draft, let it be terrible. Let it be just atrocious. It doesn't matter. Just get it on the paper or the computer because it's tremendously easier to revise something bad than it is to create something new. So here, yeah, I'm going to try to bang out a summary. Wait, wait, wait. First, color code. Yep. Color code and then summary. Give the different sections a different color. You can use my colors, your colors. I don't care. Just we're going to color code. So that we can start writing the blue text. Um, we good? We ready? All right, here we go. Notice what I did with collateral damage estimate. In the film, they call it a CDE. I'm comfortable calling it a CDE, so I write out collateral damage estimate, and then every time thereafter, I write CDE just to save space. Uh, it's in the scene for the pressure sergeant to give her collateral. She needs a low 
CDE before she can fire a missile to a terrorist compound. Her body language and physical presence. Let's see. say are immediately I don't know what to call her, her laptop area, her control center. <clears throat> so if this were in a standard paragraph, it would be that long, that this is what size 11 calibre font looks like. About that much of the paragraph would be summary of the scene. When I go back to revise the summary, I'm going to fix a few things. For instance, I wrote low, lower, or lowers like four times. It's too much. It's too much repetition. But you know what? I'll fix it later. Doesn't matter right now. I'm going to fix it later. Um, also, I noticed that I didn't quote from the movie. The best... The best blue portions, the best uh, summaries, quote from the film. Uh, do, raise your hand if you need me to, to enlarge the text. Gotcha. Uh, all right. Sorry about that. I just wanted you to see what size it would look like in a um, standard paragraph. Anyways, so the best blue portions, the best summaries, end with or somewhere have a quotation from the film. I'm analyzing body language and presence. Not much to quote. All right, summary done. Um, so between the blue and the yellow, between the, 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 the assert and the cite, you're going to need some kind of transition sentence. And let me show you what it's going to look like. Here's our transition sentence. I'm not going to jump straight into the Milgram quotation. Instead, I'm going to say Milgram's research parallels or clarifies or explains. Obviously, don't write all four of these verbs. You know, pick one. What happens in this scene? And I'm still not jumping straight into the quotation. I need to, I need to contextualize Milgram. So it so it doesn't seem like I'm just dropping a Milgram quotation in like like you know like a parachute man just does one of those toys it just drops right into the paragraph. So instead, I'm going to say let's say research obedience parallels what happens in this scene. 
Milgram studied the effect that, let's see, an authority figure's presence had on the o obedience of a subject. Even as I write that sentence, it sounds awkwardly worded. I have these two prepositional phrases in a row that are unnecessary, but I'm going to fix it later. Anyways, he concluded that, and now I need a quote. Where's my book? There it is. An authority, no, I'm going to say observed, because he does observe, observe, observed that an authority figure could often induce a disobedient subject to go by returning to the laboratory. In other words, a disobedient subject would, let's see, follow the experimenter's commands. If the, I don't want to repeat experimenter, would follow commands if the person giving the commands were present in the room. <clears throat> All right, the yellow portion, it's at, you know, let me give you 30 seconds to finish typing and I can comment upon what I've written. Okay, a few comments on the yellow portion. As far as length goes, that's about right. It's going to take up maybe a third of your paragraph. Um, here, I wrote obey but i put it in brackets does anyone know why i did that by the way the quotation says go on why would i do that i don't want to use names but yes yeah if, if i would have written the subject to go on it wouldn't have made sense to the reader what Milgram meant by go on, and then I'd have to like dedicate another sentence to explaining what Milgram meant by go on. He means obey. So I, I wrote obey. Typically, uh, but, but because I added, I put in brackets, right? Um, typically, we're going to put in brackets when like an author writes she, and you need to clarify who she is in your quotation. So you'd put in brackets the name of the person, whoever she is. Don't put, don't change quotations often. Like maybe do it once a paper if you do it once. But um, sometimes for clarity's sake, you need to. So if you alter the quotation in any way, put brackets around the words that, that are added. I could have said, go on. No, I'm going to leave it out. I noticed I didn't put my citation, so I need to put Milgram, page 77. Um, I also notice that here at the end, like 
I repeated myself. Doesn't present mean in the room? Again, this is not a perfect paragraph, but it's adequate for a first draft, so we're just going to keep it, right? We'll fix it later. Now, we analyze. Um, yeah, let me crank this out, and then you type as I type. I'm just going to crank this out, the green portion, and you type as I type. Um, Milgram's research. What happens to the scene? So if you observe that a friction. Powell uses her presence to to what to 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 get um, obedience to to obtain obedience to what did a did a freeze did the screen freeze. Yeah, why can't you see what I see? Do you see what I see? Thank you. All right. Powell uses her presence to 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 pressure. I think I've already used the verb pressure. So whatever. I'll just use it. I'll, I'll change it later. But to pressure Sadiq to um to to lie about the the CDE when I'm just going to say something about earlier in the film just because I know what happens in the film Sadiq provides uh, uh, accurate data about the young girl's risk of surviving i mentioned this young girl you know who she is because we've seen the scene the reader will know who she is because i've summarized the um the film already so i'm just going to say young girl at this point surviving uh sadiq provides accurate data about the young girl's risk of surviving but he does so when powell stands far away from him when she is closer to her command center. However, once Powell needs to um, 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 I need to somebody give me another verb uh, a synonym for pressure. I need some help. Once Powell pressures Nothing. Y'all are just going to make me do it on my own. Sitting here in the middle of the room, just typing. Force. Say it again. You said impulse. Comp oh, compel. I like that. I like that. We got any others? Hmm? Persuaded. Okay. We're going to use, we can use either of those. Once uh, Powell wants to compel 1L, um, um, Sadiq to lie about the CDE. She moves closer, so close that her face is within inches of his. Milgram's research reveals that her <laughs> here's a here's a nerdy term that I don't get to use that often. Her proximity adds a um, uh, proximity persuades <laughs> uh, um, um, Sadiq to to um, what oh yeah to obey <clears throat> Powell just like in the experiment the authority figure comes closer to the subject, Sadiq 
in this case and uses her presence to um, her physical presence to demand compliance. As far as this analysis goes, it's good enough for now. I'm sure I could improve it. For instance, I don't quote Milgram in the analysis, in the in the green. I probably should include, you know, one or two of his words. But I didn't. But I didn't. That's fine. I'll fix it later. Either way, it's done. The paragraph is done. I'll, I'll enlarge it in a second. And this is what it would look like. You're going to have some pretty long paragraphs for this paper. <clears throat> and notice it took us about 18 minutes to write it. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's say it takes you 20 minutes to write one of these body paragraphs. That means you could write your entire paper in less than two hours. I mean it. Are you going to write your paper in less than two hours? Probably not. But write the first draft in less than four. Just get it done. Because the best writing doesn't come the first time you write it. The best writing comes when you revise again and again and again. And by the time you get to your fourth revision, you have a pretty good paper. And then your fifth revision, that's a dang good paper. Right? Just get the first one done. So that's what we're doing today. We're just practicing, right? Um, I'm going to stop talking soon just so you can have some writing time. But before I do, does anybody have any questions about what's up on the screen or the process? Okay. Um, you all should turn in Milgram's article to page 76. So I encourage you to write about the you sh you need to write about this scene. I encourage you to use the quotation on the bottom right of page 76. The one we read yesterday. There are other quotes even within that paragraph that you could use. There are other quotes in the in, in Milgram's essay you could use. Whatever, if you use another quote, I don't care. Um, I just wanted to give you some some guidance on what you you, you could use for the assignment. One point three. I tell you what you should do, and then I have the what do you call it? The script here. It's not a hundred percent accurate. This is an early version of the script for the film, but I have screenshots of the, the this scene. And instead of analyzing like physical presence and body language, you're going to analyze that line about, you know, um, 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 that puts you beyond any culpability. Any questions? All right. I'm going to stop talking so you could write. Ready, set, go.